Hi, I'm Bernardo Torado from the Project Box and I invite you to check out Meet the Experts, a program where we interview experts from around the world. Here are some clips from our next episode with Lindsay Scott, a well-known expert in program and project management recruiting based in the UK. Hi, and welcome to Meet the Experts, a program where we interview experts from around the world. I'm your host, Bernardo Torado from the Project Box, and in this episode, we have Lindsay Scott from Aris People, a firm that specializes in program and project management recruitment. Lindsay has been working in the recruitment side of project management for over 10 years and previously worked as a project management practitioner for Hewitt Packer. And other things like project managers that have been doing the job for a long time find it really difficult to think, well, how much detail do I put in there? How much do I leave out? Right. Uh, and, and unfortunately, you see a lot of um, CVs that are 10 pages long. Right. That, um, <laughs> Very <laughs> long CVs. You know, so it's a life story, it you know, is, yeah. and um, yeah, people people don't don't read them, you yeah. know. So you, you you get a resume for somebody like that, and unfortunately, it goes to the bottom of the pile, you know. No, that yeah. makes perfect sense. I mean, I know when I've hired people before, um, you're right. If it's a CV that's extremely lengthy, um, one starts to question what are they trying to prove. I mean, at the end of the day, and although it's kind of hard to um, quantify, but to summarize your whole life experiences in one to two pages is very difficult. However, the ones that stand out the most, at least I found, are the ones that have very key words up front. And I'm wondering what your advice would be, especially as hiring leaders look at CVs and they're pretty much quickly scanning through them. You know, what advice do you give uh, to a project manager to the words or or the placement of it, you know, just to help them stand out a little bit more? So I suppose my final thing about getting this resume ready mm. is that you've got to be prepared that for every opportunity that you want to go for that the resume is going to change mm. because every organization is looking for a CV that's relevant for the job that you, you are applying for yeah yeah I mean it's um the, the advice that we always give is that if you were to take the CV and look at it from the top going down to the bottom one of the things that you first do um, when you were talking about how they get scanned mm. um, you tend to scan the top of a CV first and then you look down at the career history. Mm. So you know that the top part mm. and the career history are the most important bits of the CV. Mm. Those are the bits that have got to make an impact. Absolutely. Lindsay, this has been fantastic. I am so glad that you were able to join us. Um, so thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. It's great. Great to talk to you. Likewise. If you want to find out more about Lindsay Scott or our other experts, please go to the www.theprojectbox.us experts. I'm Bernardo Toronto from The Project Box. Thank you for joining. Until next time, take care.